help propagate truth. Third John chapter 1 and verse 8. We therefore ought to receive such that we may become fellow workers for the truth. What is the truth? And this is the testimony that God has given us eternal life and this life is in His Son. He who has the Son has life. He who does not have the Son of God does not have life. Without divine intervention all people are of the father, the devil, as the verse in John chapter 8 and verse 44 bears out. You are of your father, the devil, and the desires of your father you want to do. He was a murderer from the beginning and does not stand in the truth because there is no truth in him. When he speaks a lie, he speaks from his own resources, for he is a liar and father of it. Truth is vitally important because ever since Lucifer was banished from heaven, he and his band of angels, read as demons, ruled the world as haters of Yahweh and Christ Jesus. Check that in John 12 verse 31. The ideal and perfect life in Eden were left behind in lies, deception, hypocrisy, violence, jealousy, and greed became notoriously center stage, and blood and sweat and tears, the way of life. The rejection of the truth was so strong and deep that the crowd there went on to suggest and hint that Jesus was born of fornication. And that's in John chapter 8 and verse 41. This gives an idea of how deep-rooted lies and deception have made home in our hearts and minds. 2 Corinthians chapter 4 and verse 4 Whose minds the God of this sage has blinded who do not believe, lest the light of the gospel of the glory of Christ, who is the image of God, should shine on them. <clears throat> the Bible strongly states that traveling missionaries should always be received by Christians with geni genial and cordial welcome that is not only sincere, but persistently and customarily made available. This is because where one is not able to go into the world, one can always send missionaries into the world or support their walk and work to be partakers of the outcome. Do read John chapter 4 verse 38 for some really interesting facts there. Christians must be able to boldly declare 2 Corinthians chapter 7 and verse 2. Open your hearts to us 
we have wronged no one. We have corrupted no one. We have cheated no one. As Christians must be clean from every physical and spiritual thing that is opposed to Yahweh. At this, Paul warns that those who walk as Jesus commands must be ready to face slander and severe persecution from false teachers and preachers and even trouble from those who are called out for living in sin. For such is the world. Unity, cooperation and collaboration are vital when oppression and aggression grow to uphold the truth because of our faith in Christ Jesus. Therefore, in a solid show of solidarity, receiving those, regardless of their background, who bring, share and take Christ's message to the world does indicate genuine love and commitment to the truth. For thus also faith by itself, if it does not have works, is dead. And that's in James chapter 2 and verse 17. All Christians do have the mandate straight from Jesus Christ as enshrined in Matthew chapter 28 and verses 19 and 20 to go out and teach all nations baptizing them in the name of the Triune God and then teaching to observe what Christ has commanded. Then the promise I am with you always even to the end of the world. Amen. That's in verse 20b of Matthew 28. Now he who plants and he who waters are one and each one will receive his own reward according to his own labor. For we are God's fellow workers, you are God's field, you are God's building. Check 1 Corinthians chapter 3. And of course, there are verses 8 and 9. Consider how the women were partners with Paul in the spread of the gospel. And I urge you also, true companion, help these women who labored with me in the gospel, with Clement also, and the rest of my fellow workers whose names are in the book of life. I would like you to see this bold letters one. Help these women who labored with me in the gospel. There is no restrictions laid on the women to pre preach and teach and share the gospel. No restriction at all. God commands help propagate truth. That's 3 John chapter 1 and verse 8. We therefore ought to receive such that we may become fellow workers for the truth. New vlog every Monday. Do subscribe to this vlog and please, if you have not already subscribed to this vlog, please do so. Thank you.